One of my friends told me he doesn't like the wave pattern on this watch. I mean, to each their own, but look at it. It's beautiful. This is my personal watch. Welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Deeb from Gretzella Fine Jewelry, and I'm here to bring you a fresh perspective on luxury watches from an authorized retailer. Today's video, we're gonna take a look at three fast facts about the Omega Seamaster Diver 300. So like I mentioned before, the watch that I have here is my personal watch. I got this watch when we first got the Omega brand. I used to have the older version of the Seamaster Diver 300, the blue one with the stainless steel bracelet. The, I think it was the original James Bond version. I had it since the 90s. And uh, once we got the Omega brand, this was kind of my treat. The Omega Seamaster Diver 300 collection has been around since the 90s. I think 1993 is when it started. The first James Bond movie that had the watch featured was Goldeneye, if I'm not mistaken. See you in hell, James. You first. I loved that movie. It was so entertaining. The Omega Seamaster Diver 300 was my first real luxury watch after watching that movie. So today's modern collection has been updated and upgraded with Omega's best modern technology and design. This particular version sports a uh, beautiful stainless steel case with 18 karat Sedna gold accents, a ceramic bezel, and a rubber strap. On my version, we have a deployment buckle. I had to add that later on. It does not come with it. It comes with the pin buckle, the tang buckle sometimes it's called, but uh, this is a nice upgrade. I think it makes it feel a little more luxurious. Check it out. Okay, let's jump right into it. Here are three fast facts about the Omega Seamaster Diver 300. Fast fact number one. Obviously, this is James Bond's watch. I mean, how could that not be a fast fact for you? I wasn't gonna put it in fast facts, but I figured I can't not make it because it's James Bond's watch. I mean, I don't think James Bond actually wore this particular configuration, but this is my configuration. And every time I wear it, I can't help but feel like James Bond. I don't know, what do you guys think? Okay, next we're gonna go with fast fact number 1.5 because that previous fast fact about James Bond was kind of just for me. So fast fact number 1.5, we're gonna go with the helium escape valve. Obviously this helium escape valve is not the most concealed helium escape valve on a watch. I know some other watches probably have it a little more hidden, but I think that this look is very iconic for the Omega Seamaster Diver 300. I wear this watch all the time. If you take away this helium escape valve, it wouldn't be the same watch for me. Although I don't think I'll ever use the helium escape valve because I'm not a diver, but who knows? One day, if I do take it up, it's a very useful feature. Actually, come to think of it, maybe I should take up diving. James Bond used to dive. Can't call myself James Bond without being a diver. With the new models, the helium escape valve has been given sort of a conical shape and one nice thing about it is if it accidentally opens, the watch will remain water resistant for up to 50 meters. This is sort of a patent that Omega has. Moving on to fast fact number two about the Omega Seamaster Diver 300. Fast fact number two, this watch is Master Chronometer Certified. Master Chronometer Certified means it's been certified twice, once by COSC certification and the second one by METAS for a master chronometer certification. Master chronometer certification undergoes eight different stringent tests to get the master chronometer certification on a watch. It's a very transparent test. You can actually go to Omega's website, put in your information and get your results for this watch. I'll put a link in the description. You can go check it out if you have an Omega Seamaster or actually any Ma Omega Master Chronometer. We're talking about the Master Chronometer certification. It's worth taking a look at the beautiful Caliber 8800 through the exposed case back. Fast fact number three, the watch is anti-magnetic and shock resistant. I know that's two facts, but I figured I'd combine those two because they're important ones and they actually do make a difference for a watch in this caliber. Let's start with the anti-magnetic part. To me, 
I mean, it makes sense. It's a pretty big deal that it's anti-magnetic. I know a lot of other watches are anti-magnetic these days, but it makes difference because these watches are mechanical and they're subject to everyday objects like phones or even door openers and maybe sometimes not so everyday objects like MRI machines. And it could actually severely cause problems with the performance of the watch if they're exposed to those kind of fields. The fact that this watch is anti-magnetic kind of makes you feel like you can wear it more and more all the time. The second part of this fast fact is shock resistant. This one is important to me. I like to wear my watches a lot all the time. I don't like to take them off. When I'm actually playing sports, sometimes I wear them. When I play golf, definitely I wear it. Uh, when I'm on vacation and I'm swimming, I wear it. And when I'm just hanging out with my friends or at, with the kids or doing things around the house, I wear it. So it does actually make me feel okay that I can wear it without worrying about it being damaged because of uh, impact or shock or anything like that. They say that it's uh, tested to the equivalent of being dropped to one meter or 1.5 meters on a wooden surface. Whatever it is, it actually makes me feel good about being able to wear it all the time. There you have it guys, that was three fast facts on the Omega Seamaster Diver 300. If you liked the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. It really helps. I will be doing more of these three fast fact videos, so please take a look at our channel. And I hope to see you in the next one.